Mirroring a sketch can be very useful when making a part, or making cuts in a part. This is something you will likely use very often. There are two different types of mirroring. The first you can create half of the sketch and then mirror the sketch using the mirroring tool. The second is a dynamic mirror, which mirrors the sketch as you make your sketch. For the normal mirroring tool, start a sketch on one of the faces of the part. Create a center line to use as the mirror line. Use the midpoints of the face to make it in the middle. Now, start to sketch on the one side of the center line. For this example, we can cut out two squares. Dimension the squares, one inch by two inches, and place it in the middle of that side. The easiest way to make it in the middle is to make another center line from one corner of the rectangle to the other, and place the center point of the rectangle we made on the midpoint of that line. This will make it always be in the middle, no matter what we change the dimensions to. Next, we can mirror a rectangle. Click on the Mirror Entities tool in the Sketch tool. Click all four of the sides of the rectangle to specify what you want to mirror. Then, click inside the box below to specify the mirror line. A preview will appear, and if it is correct, you can finish the sketch and close it. You can then cut extrude the two rectangles from the part using the Cut Extrude tool. Though this example is not very practical, you will find this tool to be very useful when designing the robot.